Uh, hello guys, it's Nizzy. Thanks for dropping in. Today I'm going to talk about monster level scaling in Diablo 4. Uh, I know this has been a very uh, divisive topic, although perhaps that's debatable since most people don't actually like it. But I'm one of those who are in the opposite camp. So uh, I'm going to give my two cents about it and uh, I hope you guys like it. So let's get in. So, uh, first of all, I think monster level scaling is good. Uh, Diablo 4. It's a very unique thing because I don't think any other game has done this in, in recent games. Uh, but as I said, I think it's a positive thing because of a few reasons. So, monster level scaling, uh, and here are my reasons why. I think monster level scaling is good because, first, it provides a level playing field. So what do I mean by that? Uh, imagine since this game has MMO elements, there, there are scenarios where a uh, new player, as they, as they explore the world and, and you know, try to build monsters and, and level up, they'll be able to meet higher level characters. Imagine if they meet someone who has escaped from early access. So that person would have characters that have at least, you know, what, 30, 40 levels uh, over this new, ca this special place. And if this mechanic is not in place, that casual player will just be that guy just slaughter the monster that he is trying to kill. Maybe in one or two seconds. And I guess that's fine if you're just trying to level up your characters and just don't really care about the game. But if you want to immerse and experience the game and experience, you know, uh, your character leveling up because he killed monster, you won't get that without this mechanic. So it enables lower level characters to be able to enjoy the world with higher level characters. That also gives a side effect where more people can play together uh, in a way that everyone would have more fun together. Why? Because first of all, unless you're a slayer even in playing games like Diablo 4, you would want to contribute guys, right? With this and this mechanic ensures that even lower level characters can contribute uh, equally to the party uh, as higher level characters because the monster scale with them. Not only that, there are even scenarios where it's even possible for lower level characters to carry a higher level character if that higher level character has a more holistically developed uh, his or her character. So that gives a more balanced and, you know, complete gaming experience, in my opinion. Also, uh, I think it's, no, I think everyone knows this, but Blizzard intended Diablo primarily, or at least to a big, uh, to a big part, to casual players. So yeah, they want hardcore gamers to enjoy the game too, but they want it to appeal. Casual players, and this mechanic ensures that. Uh, this makes sure that the casual player will have as much fun, if not more, than the more seasoned hardcore players. By providing content that would, you know, make sure that their more uh, meager effort, or rather meager skill, would yield uh, the same satisfying result as a more seasoned player. So yeah, that's my first reason. Uh, so it creates a more level playing field. My second reason is, it. I think when Blizzard made this game, they didn't put thought into it in the sense that they just don't want it to blast you. They want the, the players to have a more holistic experience of it. To see all of its nuances, to appreciate all of the content, and the, 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 the art, uh, the art, is, uh, art content, and, what, and all of those stuff that the developers have put, lovingly put into this game. So, uh, for example, if, if, if this is not complete, then the typical uh, player would just last to it. But because this is in case, it requires you for you to be able to, for you to, be able to blast through and efficiently uh, go through the content of the game, it requires you to develop a character more, more holistically. So for example, 
you have to keep to make sure that your renown is getting developed uh, in each region that you are getting all of those avatars of Lilith it forces you to explore <laughs> every nook and cranny of the map uh, and also uh, in the process it's here it's more of the side quest in the game it also makes sure that your gear uh, keeping up with your character level so in that way it kind of nudges you in the direction of experiencing to be more not just uh, pumping up stats with the stats of your character so for me i think that's a, a good thing because it it makes you enjoy the game more i mean unless you're that guy who just wants to get his name on the leader, leaderboard you would appreciate that uh, to be able to experience more more of the game and have progression and be rewarded by progression while you're doing it because it's one thing for you for the game to want you to experience the game without giving you anything that impacts your performance in the game for it and it's another for the game to nudge you in that direction and reward you accordingly so yeah it's, uh, i think uh, it's a good thing to uh, three first, or it provides environments for a more holistic situation. So, the third reason I have, I think I'm using this, this a good thing, because it gives more quality in your power spikes or in your feel of power. What do you mean by that? So, more the uh, people didn't uh, don't like this monster scaling thing. Most people don't like it because it robs them of the power spike that they need. It get usually when they level up so since the monsters level up with them they're leveling up doesn't necessarily mean that you know they can crush the content actually sometimes it makes them weaker relative to the monsters especially if their character uh, the other aspects of their character has not been developed uh, as quickly as their level as their uh, level uh, leveling their character level so but in this case, with this mechanic in place, if you level up and you're still able to blast through the content in your new level, it means that you're really powerful in you. It means that you have had a more holistic and complete development of your character. So for me, that's, that, that's more of a compliment. You know, It means that either you have the gear that uh, you, you have you know, really grinded to the point where you have all the gear you want, or secondly, Maybe it means that your skill is to such a degree that maybe you're not a, your character per se. It's raw, uh, your character's raw power per se is not on par with any level, but since you're so good at playing, you should be able to blast through and take care of the content. So it gives more of a compliment and affirmation in my in, in the power that I feel that with with this mechanic in place it means that i do deserve or i have done something maybe got lucky you know i guess i got lucky but perhaps you got lucky uh, and got a really good piece of gear but even that even then it means that you have done something uh to deserve that feeling of power that you do get in those rare times that you do get it so i hope that makes sense so yeah so I don't think it's it. So I, uh, going back, stepping back, and summarizing. So I don't think monster level scaling is really that bad. I think it's a good thing uh, for the reasons I mentioned. You know, uh, of course it takes a little time to get, uh, to get used to it, and of course it does put a stamp on on the usual uh, pedal that you use to just blast through the content. But I think as time goes on, uh, the the benefit benefit to your reap would far outweigh that happy feeling that we now have of not being able to immediately blast this one. So uh, that's my two cents. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Please, uh, if you like my videos, or at least if you find them uh, thought-provoking, please consider liking, subscribing, and uh, see you guys in the next